Coach Bouchard, last year, Final Four run, obviously there's a lot of expectations and pressure that come with this year's team after that performance. How do you talk to your team and get them ready for that pressure? Yeah, it's been interesting because the first time you ever go through something like that, uh, we're, all, we're all learning. Coaches are learning, players are learning. And uh, I think early in the year, we felt those expectations, we carried them around. And as we've as we work through our season and, and become the team that we're trying to be this year, I think we're just becoming the best version of this year's this year's team. Um, and we'll always have fond memories about 15, but we got to continue to be the best we can in 2016. Yeah, and what have you learned about your team so far in preseason? Well, they they fight uh, defensively. I think we've been ahead of a little bit of where we've been offensively on occasion. So we're hoping now that. Uh, that offensively we can catch up with that. Um, last year's team hit for a little higher hitting efficiency, um, and we're hoping to uh, move the needle in that direction as far as this year's team too. What would a win over Texas tomorrow mean for this team? Well, it'd be a, a, a great win against a great team on their home floor, and it means we can be competitive at the highest level because that's what Texas is. So um, we're going to put all our energy and effort into that. And how do you think you guys match up against Texas? Well, physically, they've got some advantages in certain way uh, areas. Uh, we think we've got some strengths. Uh, we got to manage their their pin players. Um, they take heavy swings, and if we can if we can keep their first ball kill efficiency at a at a uh, manageable level, I think that gives us a chance. You've got quite a few Texas natives on this team. Should we expect some Kansas fans in the stands? Oh, I hope so. Uh, they started our, reeled off our seven starters the other night, and I think five were from Texas, so it uh, should be fun. And you guys have a couple freshmen that are playing some really key roles on this team. How do you think they've done in blending in with your veterans? And it's been a process, uh, but our, our veteran players have uh, set the expectation. Uh, we've got a culture that we've developed, and I think uh, they are uh, transitioning into the culture uh, quite well and the players we want them to be. And you've had two freshmen, Jada Burrs and Christian Montero, sort of switching off at that OH2 spot. Right. Do you think, what's been the battle there and what are the strengths of those two different Well, players? Jada's uh, plays a little higher, a little more physical. Uh, Patricia's volleyball IQ is high. Um, she understands how to, how to make shots and how to make things happen. So that's it's been a nice uh, balance for us for those two to kind of share that spot. Tell me a little bit about Anise's position on this team. Well, she's our quarterback. She runs the show, uh, led the country in assists last year, or was in the top two. And our team was one of the top two teams in hitting efficiency. So she makes it all go for us offensively. Yeah. And what about Kelsey Payne? Obviously this year she's transitioning into a six rotation yeah. position. How's she been doing with that? Been doing well. Uh, her hitting efficiency numbers are down a little bit, but obviously everybody's game planning for her. She's creating opportunities for her out of the back row. And we're very happy with her progress there. You guys had some good practice with five set matches so far this season. How, what did you learn about your team in those situations? They stay pretty composed. Um, at Creighton against a very good team, came down to uh, a two point game. Xavier uh, played us really, really tough and we kind of took off in the fifth set against them. So the teams played composed and stayed together in those moments. And what do you think happened in the Purdue match? Uh, Purdue played well. Um, and they were closer to the team they wanted to be than us, uh, a little bit closer to their character than us. Um, and you got to take your hats off to a team that played at a high level in front of their home fans, um, end up wanting a little bit more than we did. What's your read on the Big 12 overall this year? Great balance, a lot of upperclassmen, going to be a lot of great matches. You know, West Virginia played Texas very competitive the first two sets there. Um, K-State's playing at a high level. Uh, Iowa State's a good team. TCU, you can just go down. Oklahoma, we saw them. So it's going to be night in and night out, as good as it's been in a long time.